Have you ever experienced the disappointment of approaching a public restroom only to find an unpleasant surprise left behind by someone who neglected to flush? That's akin to the experience of encountering Dubai. Today, we're going to look at the dark side of Dubai. Apologies for the vivid imagery, but while Dubai may appear gleaming and modern from the outside, a closer look reveals underlying issues that tarnish its facade. Dubai can be likened to an adult version of Disney World, a synthetic environment where glossy facades mask a lack of substance built by marginalized laborers. In truth, Dubai lacks the essence of a genuine city. Its skyline, dotted with skyscrapers, contrasts sharply with impoverished suburban areas reminiscent of Orlando's least affluent neighborhoods. The essence of Dubai is void of culture, language, or any semblance of authenticity. At best, it's a contrived imitation of Western metropolises, catering to the whims of Instagram influencers and affluent tourists. Moreover, Dubai's reliance on migrant labourers often results in exploitive conditions resembling a modern-day slavery, as workers are lured with false promises only to be subjected to oppressive treatments and confiscation of passports. In the UAE, approximately 18% of the population consists of Emiratis, while the majority comprise of immigrants, primarily from Southeast and South Asia. Conversations about life in cities like Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and Fujairah often reveal accounts of overcrowded living conditions with 7 to 10 individuals sharing cramped quarters, and their passports withheld by employers to restrict their freedom of movement and job options. The towering skyscrapers, luxurious hotels, and extravagant structures that adorn the UAE skylines are not erected by Emiratis themselves. Rather, migrant workers, often subjected to grueling labor in the scorching desert heat, undertake these tasks to fulfill the country's ambition of securing a place in the Guinness World Book of Records for constructing the largest man-made structures. Furthermore, disturbing accounts from Filipino women highlight prevalent issues of sexual harassment, physical violence, and even rape. Many immigrants, despite being aware of the potential risks and hardships in the UAE, choose to migrate from countries of limited economic opportunities in hopes of earning money to support their families back home. For both tourists and affluent locals, shopping appears to be the primary leisure activity, with many spending extensive hours in air-conditioned malls. However, the idea of spending 8-10 to 10 hours in such an environment seems less appealing and more akin to a nightmare for me. Due to the prevalence of veiling among Emirati women, discerning their facial expressions can be challenging. Observing individuals within these malls, there's a pervasive sense of disinterest among men, while women rush from one store to another. Children, too, are confined indoors, accompanying their families through this manufactured environment. Dubai may be renowned as a shopping destination, yet it's notable that the experience predominantly entails retail exploration rather than bargain hunting. Dubai, an impressive urban center emerging in the Arabian desert, has mesmerized global audiences with its bold architectural designs, lavish living standards, and swift advancement. However, beyond its dazzling exterior lies an intricate web of paradoxes that reflect larger societal dilemmas. While Dubai represents notions of advancement, affluence, and aspiration, it also mirrors systematic disparities, environmental deterioration, and cultural uniformity. Dubai's skyline boasts towering skyscrapers, reflecting its economic might and ambitious spirit. However, this prosperity is frequently superficial, sustained by substantial investments, migrant labor, and unsustainable debt. The global financial downturn of 2008 laid bare Dubai's fragility as its real estate bubble burst, leaving behind unfinished projects and indebted developers. The relentless pursuit of rapid expansion, regardless of consequences, has rendered Dubai's economy vulnerable to fluctuations, heavily reliant on speculative investments and external funds. The construction frenzy that transformed Dubai into a modern marvel was largely fueled by migrant workers. These individuals often endured grueling working conditions, meager wages, and limited rights. The prevalent kafala system, common in Gulf states, binds workers to their employers, fostering a climate of exploitation and maltreatment. Instances of labor violations, encompassing wage discrepancies, passport confiscation, and unsafe workplaces underscore the human toll exacted by Dubai's development model. Despite efforts at reform, systematic challenges persist, underscoring the entrenched inequalities within the city's social fabric. Dubai's rapid expansion and unregulated growth have inflicted significant damage on its delicate desert ecosystem and natural assets. The construction surge has caused extensive habitat destruction, diminished biodiversity, and escalated carbon emissions. Ambitious projects like the Palm Islands and World Islands have permanently altered marine habitats and worsened coastal erosion. Moreover, Dubai's substantial demand for water and energy has strained its limited resources, leading to excessive exploitation of groundwater reservoirs and heavy reliance on energy-intensive desalination plants. 
The proliferation of air-conditioned structures like malls, hotels, and skyscrapers has exacerbated urban heat island effects, intensifying challenges associated with climate change. Despite initiatives aimed at promoting sustainability and embracing green technology, Dubai's environmental policies often prioritize economic gains over environmental preservation. This pursuit of immediate profits has resulted in enduring environmental harm, jeopardizing the city's long-term sustainability and resilience. The proliferation of invasive species poses a significant threat to the biodiversity of the UAE. The influx of these species is often linked to heightened commercial activities and the illegal wildlife trade. While some resilient plant species are introduced for purposes like forest cultivation and urban landscaping, others are brought into the country as personal possessions. The introduction of foreign species is anticipated to have a detrimental effect on local wildlife and ecosystems. Many migratory species and native animals rely on specific areas within the country for habitat and breeding grounds. Factors like income inequality, limited social mobility, and exclusionary policies contribute to social tensions and undermine the city's societal cohesion. The pursuit of wealth and social status perpetuates a culture of materialism and conspicuous consumption, further widening the gap between the privileged and the disadvantaged. Dubai's swift modernization has led to the dilution of traditional cultures and identities as the forces of globalization and westernization reshape the social fabric of the city. The proliferation of multinational corporations, luxury brands, and Western entertainment signifies a standardized consumer culture that sidelines local customs and traditions. Critics argue that Dubai's pursuit of global dominance undermines indigenous cultures, heritage, and authenticity. The commercialization of culture and heritage reduces diversity to a marketable product, detracting from the depth and diversity of human experiences. Despite presenting itself as a bastion of progress and modernity, dissent and critique are often suppressed, with dissenters facing harassment, incarceration, or exile. The absence of democratic institutions and an independent media undermines accountability and transparency, allowing unchecked power and corruption to flourish. While Dubai offers economic opportunities and stability, it does so at the expense of individual liberties and human rights. Dubai's emergence as a worldwide hub for business and tourism has attracted individuals in pursuit of wealth, opportunity, and luxury. However, this relentless drive for material success often disregards ethical considerations and moral standards. The city's lax regulatory framework has fostered a climate of impunity, allowing corporate misconduct and financial wrongdoing to thrive unchecked. Instances of corruption, bribery, and financial irregularities are not uncommon, with little accountability for those involved. Additionally, Dubai's reputation as a tax haven and financial hub has raised concerns regarding money laundering, illicit financial transactions, and global economic inequality. The secrecy provided by offshore accounts and opaque corporate structures complicates efforts to detect and prosecute illicit activities, facilitating the perpetuation of financial crimes without consequences. Moreover, Dubai's stringent social norms and conservative legal system have been criticized for infringing upon individual liberties and human rights. The criminalization of homosexuality, limitations on freedom of expression, and restrictive labor regulations suppress dissent and promote a culture of conformity. While Dubai's image as a beacon of progress and ambition is unquestionable, beneath its glossy exterior lie ingrained contradictions and structural deficiencies that reflect broader societal issues. Only through such concerted efforts can Dubai, along with the wider world, strive towards a more just and sustainable future. That's all about today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below.